Well, hello, everybody. So we are going to continue on uh, with our cutting out uh, tutorials by using a different tool. Um, today we're going to be using a tool called the uh, Background Eraser Tool. So um, if you uh, download this picture from your G2L and just open it up with Photoshop, uh, you'll see we have um, our background here. And uh, we're going to do a little experiment here. We're going to um, we're, we're going to mix this up, right? So we've got this sort of sort of gradient going from a yellow to to you know yellow green to sort of a lighter lighter green here. And uh, we're going to replace that background with something a little bit different. Um, the way we're going to do this is we're going to make a new layer here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the new layer, and I'm just going to drag it down below the background. Let's actually do this right click. We'll do layer from background. Right, and then we'll just drag this down, right? And if you want to rename the layer, uh, you can name this, you know, bird, and put this out here. You can say BG color, background color, right? Just to make things simple. And I'm just going to fill this in with something that's a little um, easy to see against the um, yellow and green. So we want to have something sort of red, something that's sort of opposite the the color spectrum here. Um, so I'll just uh, find like a, a, a red here, uh, and I'm going to take my fill tool, my bucket tool. So you should see this, um, uh, you might see a little gradient here, but the, the idea is if you hold down this little gradient tool button, you'll see the paint bucket tool, or you just hit G on your keyboard uh, and just fill that in, right? So if I make this invisible, I can see just that red. Um, okay, so the, the background eraser tool is an interesting tool because, um, once again, if you go over here to your eraser tool and just hold it down, you can find background eraser tool. Um, and you've got several different options to choose from here. The first one is this, what's called continuous sampling, right? The continuous sampling basically just means you start to erase things uh, and it starts to take things away just as, uh, basically just samples a color. The problem is um, once you hit other colors, you know, it'll start to erase the, the foreground color as well. You see this? Uh, it's starting to erase what we want to we want to keep. I'm just going to control Z there. Um, the middle section, it, basically it samples once, and so if you have a consistent color, you can kind of start erasing that. But then as soon as you get over to other colors in the background, hmm, it seems to be working, but it also Oh, yeah, All right. and then it sort of stops when it comes to that. That, that. That's a good one right there. The other one is the background swatch tool. Let's undo what I just did. Um, and for this one, you would want to sample the color. You can press the letter I on your keyboard and just sample a random color here on the background. And then uh, once again, go to your background eraser tool. But that right there, uh, it's um, it's rather, uh, you might see it's, it's, it's somewhat erasing things, but it's uh, at the same time um, kind of hard to, um, hard to pick out a single color that's, that's consistent across the entire thing because we have this little gradient here. So we're going to use the middle option. And uh, we have um, these various things. We have um, uh, this little limits here. I'm going to choose fine edges on my limits. Um, and with that, uh, that should help me um, sort of um, uh, uh, you know, erase just what I want to erase and it'll stop when it hits the bird. Now there's some situations here or there, like for instance right around here with the neck, uh, that the um, that the, the colors are somewhat similar, in which case we'll have to, um, we'll have to make some adjustments. Um, so I have my tolerance set to 100%, uh, and that works pretty well for getting rid of basically all the colors, but you can see a few colors here or there, they're sort of like kind of hanging around, and we can get to those in a second. But if, we, if you adjust the tolerance, like say for instance I set it down to like 50%, all right? You can see it's a little bit different in the way it erases. It sort of has a bit of a, a less opacity, especially as it goes down. Um, if you set the tolerance to say 30% or so, um, it starts to, uh, you know, it does really well against the edges, as opposed to hitting it to 100% where uh, it starts to erase some of the some of the information that's uh, that's there that we want to keep. Um, so I'm going to kind of be going back and forth with this uh, with different um, different tolerances, but once again, I'm going to make sure it's fine edges. I can even try out discontinuous as well. I'm going to say, I'm going to say that, that starts to erase things. But um, let's just set your, let's say, choose the um, the middle option here where it says um, sample once. Right? If you hold over, it'll say sample sampling once. Uh, I've got my brush size pretty big, and I have the hardest all the way to 100%. At any point, if you want to um, change the size of your eraser without clicking any buttons, you can uh, use the square brackets, which are above the enter key. You can use the left square bracket to make it smaller and the right square bracket to make it bigger. And um, just kind of check and see what, 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 what develops here as you use the different size brushes. So I'm going to go ahead and, and um, just choose my tolerance at 100%, and we'll see what happens as we go through this background here. I'll make this a little bit smaller, just slightly. Well, a good deal smaller, like five times as small. Okay. 
a little bit bigger. You know, there's a race background here. And as I go to the beak, it'll uh, it'll start to erase a little bit of the beak here. So let me just uh, bring this tolerance down a little bit. And, uh, actually, what I'll do is I'll just go back to find edges. There we go. Looks good. And we can see the, the background uh, color that we put down uh, coming visible as we do this. And this is this is really a useful tool, especially when you have like a, a person who has like wispy hair kind of um, going off, or maybe a person like me who's got um, uh, shall we say uh, 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 less than uh, kempt beard so can get some of these little bits and pieces out again the closer to the edge you get the better and we, we lost a little bit of the um, tree at that point there let me see if I can't back it up until I get the tree back Yeah, that's fine. Good. When you hold down Control Alt Delete or Control Alt Z, it um, or Control yeah Control Alt Z, it uh, steps backwards. And if you just press Control Z, it goes to where you were before uh, you started pressing the, um, the sort of step backwards button here. So let me just get right about there. That's probably good. And the thing about this is that there's some like little moments where there is a different shade here and there. That you want to try to get rid of, but uh, I'll just uh, go to the other side here and I'll start erasing on the other side. And you want to aim at little crosshair in the center on the color that you want to sample, the color you want to get rid of. So just Good. Keep clicking, keep sampling here. So go around. And um, the background eraser is a useful tool, um, and it works really well, especially if you have a really homogeneous background. Now, in this case, we have a pretty, um, pretty, pretty, uh, I would say, homogeneous background when it comes to using the um, the different gradients here. But um, we have like a person who's like just on a you know, blank background, like a gray wall or something like that. That's where it comes in really handy. Um, especially if it's not like a, 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 a green screen or something. Okay. Yeah, that's about right. Let me go down here. Put some of this information down here. Keep clicking on these little shadowy areas that have a bit, bit stuff left over because sometimes if you get closer to the um, object you're trying to isolate, it starts to. Uh, right. So right about there, I would say, is good. I'm just more times here. I'm just, I'm, I'm, you can hear me clicking. I'm just sampling as many collections as I possibly can, just to get it as clean as I possibly can here. And right about here, I would say we're good to go back just to normal erase here. Let me just. Uh, okay, so once it, well, now what I'll do is I'll just go to the eraser tool here and I'll just make that big and I'll just clip out the rest of the stuff. Right. Okay, I'll clear the edges here. So at some point you'll switch over to the uh, just normal eraser. I'm just gonna get, get the edges here. Oop. So that looks about right. Let's see if we can't um, take a look at the, um, the background here. If I were to like change this to something, let's like we get rid of it here. All right. Now, if I were to like just go over here with my um, uh, magic wand tool selected, um, you could see a few things that are still there, and I can kind of go back and take a look at those. And, and in which case, I might actually just change this background color here to um, to white. Let me just go. I'll be, I'll go to image adjustments. Saturation, I'll just pull the saturation all the way down. Rather, I'll pull the whiteness all the way up. Now let's see if we can't see things a little bit better. I want to say we can see a little bit of information back here, and I'll just hold down the eraser tool, I'll click on the background eraser, and I'll start clicking around. Oops, wrong, wrong layer selected. Click the bird. Oh, 
start clicking along the edges here just to see if I can't get as much of the background noise gone as possible. Alright, try it one more time. W. We still got some stuff down here. the normal eraser here. And keep checking here. This little spot right there. Okay. Let's see what we're time. Alright, right around here. I'll get my background eraser back and I'll just start clicking around this way. You kind of see some of the little bits disappearing. And as we click, all right, cool. Right around here, one more time. Okay, there's no more eraser here for just a second, and I'll just clean up the edges here. Alright, great. Okay, so we make our background kind of uh, uh, disappear. We have this nice little cutout bird, and we can just uh, sort of move it around if you wanted to, and yeah, there it is. Alright, so th that's a good little tool to use. So um, uh, try that out, and uh, we'll. Um, uh, we'll uh, uh, submit this as a PNG. So you have file, save as, and then just uh, make sure it's set to a PNG. And you can uh, you can set it anywhere you want. Uh, if you want to just like make sure the edge is down there, but this is fine with the, with the transparent background. All right. Just call it um, uh, bird below. Good stuff. All right. Well, cannot wait to see you guys produce.